to complete your easy pressed flowers. You'll need your picture frame as well as the backing, a heavy microwavable object. I'm using a casserole dish, but you can use a brick or a large plate as long as it's safe to go in the microwave. You'll also need some paper towel and some flowers, some fresh flowers. You may also find some scissors handy in order to trim your flowers to fit into your picture frame. These flowers I've collected from my backyard. So I've got some sweet williams, some wild geranium, and some, I don't know what this one is, but it's pretty. I'm gonna try it out using those ones. Um, you wanna use bigger, bolder fl colored flowers, but sm um, smaller ones will also work. We'll just have to adjust the time that we use on the microwave. So what we need to do is layer our flowers. So if I'm using these ones, they're a small one, I'm gonna keep them all attached to the stem uh, here. And I'm gonna lay it flat on a paper towel, cover it with another paper towel, and use my heavy object over top to squish it down. And then I'm gonna take this over to my microwave and uh, put it in for 30 seconds to start. So I placed my flowers on their paper towel, covered them with a heavy object, and I put them in my microwave. I'm gonna close the door, and I'm gonna put it on for 30 seconds to start. So the microwave is finished 30 second time. I'm gonna open it up, and I'm just gonna be careful because the this dish does get a little warm still, so be careful when you're taking it out, your item out, and you'll be able to see some of the moisture that's come out of your flowers. So take a look and see in this case, it's still a little bit wet. I'm gonna put it in for another 20 seconds to make sure all the moisture is out of that. I'm just gonna flip around the paper towel, make sure it's got a dry spot, put it back in, cover it with a dish, and add another 20 seconds to my microwave time. Okay, so again, being careful taking that out because it's gonna be warm. I'm gonna take another look at my flower and the flower itself will be a little warm too. So it feels nice and dry. You can see it's pretty, pretty crispy, pretty dry to the touch. So I'm gonna say that one's done. So I'm gonna put that aside and then find some other flowers to try it dry in the microwave as well. So you may find if you're doing a bigger flower, like a rose or a peony, or even a really big daisy, or maybe a chrysanthemum, you may find it needs a, even a bit longer, but it's a good idea to start with 30 seconds and then work um, in about 20 to 30 second increments to make sure it doesn't get completely dried out. So once you've dried your flowers and you're satisfied with the way they look, the next step is to assemble your picture. So that you'll need your backing as well as your picture frame. So you'll open up your picture frame using these little tabs to swing them out here. There's three of them and you can take that out and then you can start assembling your picture. Um, placing some flowers on the glass, however you like, to create a beautiful arrangement. And place them however you like, so you're satisfied. There. However best to showcase off the flowers that you used. remembering that you're working from the front to the back. So you're gonna to wanna to put in some background um, leaves and things like that afterwards to fill in the space. Oh, and you might need to use your scissors to trim some of your flowers if they're a bit too big. So I'm gonna trim that one like so, so it can fit in this space here. However you like using whatever as many as or as few as you want maybe if you have one really striking bloom you can put that inside otherwise I've got a few little ones here so I'm just putting them in together and then you're gonna take your cardboard backing place that over top of your flowers place the uh, backing over top of that and then clip it into place And then there you go, you've got your beautiful artwork to put up on your wall or wherever you'd like to display it, on a desk maybe, 